Hi guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the additional features of the Rodecaster Pro that can help get things set up exactly the way that you prefer. First of all, you can set up the look of the Rodecaster Pro to suit your preferences and your environment. In the advanced hardware settings menu are options to change the brightness of the screen and also the brightness of the buttons to match the ambient lighting of your studio. You can also turn on and off headphone limiting. The Rodecaster Pro features high-powered headphone amplifiers that are capable of creating very loud sounds in your headphones. If you're worried about this, you can enable the limiting function that will limit the maximum volume, potentially a great function for schools or businesses. It's worth noting that the Rodecaster Pro ships with this feature enabled. So if you can't get the headphones as loud as you would like when you first turn on the console, head to the advanced hardware settings and you can turn on or off the headphone limiting. In the micro SD menu, you can see how much remaining time you have on the SD card and you can also erase the SD card, which will delete all of the files on the card, including any files not created by the Rodecaster Pro. Finally, you can check the firmware version of your console in the info menu. Now, Rode will be issuing regular firmware updates with additional features and enhancements to the Rodecaster Pro, so it's worth always keeping up to date. You can check and download the latest version from the Rode website. So I hope this video helps you set up the Rodecaster Pro the way that suits your podcast. Happy podcasting.